This is Tesla's Model S, and we're going to have a look at how autopilot actually works. We'll do the hardware first while we're outside. Underneath the plastic front bumper cover here is a radar that can look forward to a range of several hundred meters so the car can tell what's in front of it. That data is combined with information from these little dots. There are 12 of them around the entire circumference of the car. They're ultrasonic sensors, so a much shorter range, but more of them. Up here at the top of the windscreen is a camera that's forward facing and there's also very high precision GPS so the car's computer knows exactly where it is all the time. While we're still in park we can actually activate autopilot or the parts of it. We go into settings here, it's this control up at the top, auto steer, brackets, beta. I'm going to press on, just one of those ones you tend to gloss over. Tesla really wants us to read this now. It's saying I will keep my hands on the wheel. Do I want to enable auto steer while it is in beta? I'm going to say yes, and that's it. That's on, lane change is on. We're ready to start our trip. We're on the freeway here in Nevada, so this is the type of situation where uh, autopilot should work. And so first, I'm going to pull this lever towards me once. That activates uh, adaptive cruise control, something that a lot of cars have these days. I have it set at 70. The truck in front of us is only doing 62 miles per hour right now, so the car won't go any faster than that. But if I manually change lanes and we go around the truck and take my foot back off the accelerator, the car is now doing 70 and it will hold 70 unless there's something in front that the radar senses that means that we have to slow down. The second part of autopilot is the auto steer. Now that I have to pull the lever twice to activate. There we go and it comes up with a little sign there saying please keep your hands on the wheel. But I can just keep one hand on now because I can see in the display here that I have two lines highlighted in blue. That means the car is seeing both lane markings on either side. If we were closer to that vehicle in front that's up there, then that would also be in blue, saying that the car recognizes that it's there. It's kind of locked onto it as a leading signal. We can just cruise along like this. I am supposed to keep hands on the wheel, but you can see how relaxing it does feel. It lulls you into this sense of security. Another fun function of autopilot, I'm right now in the left-hand lane, I should be in the right-hand lane. I'm just going to activate the signal and then I'm actually going to take my hands off the wheel here altogether just to show you. The car just moved across into the other lane. Oh, and there's even an exit there which it has managed not to send us down and it's now centered us back into the right-hand lane. Not entirely sure how useful that function is. It's nice that it checks your blind spots for you and that will perhaps get better over time with software. Right now, I personally keep a very tight eye on the car whenever it's changing lanes just to make sure it's doing it the way that I want it to. This is a great time to be using autopilot. We're in a line of very slow moving traffic here, although we're on a highway that's got a speed limit of 65, which the camera has captured and is showing me in front here. So now you can see the speed is going up and down. I actually don't have my feet on the pedals right now. I will keep one hand on the steering wheel because that's what we're supposed to do. But the car is just speeding up and slowing down as the car in front does. In fact, the car in front is braking. I'm not touching the pedals with my feet. I just have one hand on the wheel and the car is going to slow down as that car slows down. We would come to a complete stop and then start moving again. So in stop and go traffic, it really takes some of the pressure off the driver. One thing that it's not liking here, if you can see outside the driver's window here, we're in the left-hand lane and there's a concrete rail that runs very, very close to the side of the lane. And Autopilot is displaying these yellow markings in front of me, warning that there's something there, something in my blind spot that's kind of triggering it the whole time. If we were going any faster than the 20 miles an hour or so we're crawling along at, I'd probably be driving manually just because I would feel more comfortable with that. And one little Easter egg Tesla engineers have left us. If you click six times, on this leader, you get the Rainbow Road from Mario Kart and a little burst of more cowbells from SNL, apparently favourites of Elon Musk. <laughs>